Hi all, so in today's video we're going to attempt to tidy up some of the dents around Helsing using a cheap PDR kit that we picked up from Amazon. But before we bust out the PDR kit, I suppose we better give them a clean first. So anyway, let's just have a quick look around the van and look at the dents that we want to try and tackle. Clearly, that's the big one down there. Um, it's what with all the different patches of blue on there. It's, it, I think that sort of masks or makes it difficult to see quite how bad it is. But there's a few, there's a few ripples. There are a few ripples down there. There's also one there and up there as well I'll try and do something with those I say I don't expect it to be perfect but if we can just make it look a little bit better than what it currently does we're really happy with that there's nothing on the back that looks fine obviously the paintwork's a mess and then down this side of the van there's there's just a couple so you can see the one around there just a slight ripple in the in the panel and then along that same edge there's one just a little bit further forward there so we picked this PDR kit up from Amazon and it cost us just shy of 30 pound the make is main lord so I guess the question is guys what do you get in the bag and probably the best place to start is with the instruction manual not that I know anybody who reads instruction manuals but there you go they, they have it there's the instruction manual next up we've got the hammer and then the hammer's got two different heads on it and uh, different two different types of materials and probably the star of the show next up is the paintless dent removal tool itself i mean this thing it's it's quite substantial i mean it, it feels well put together it's, it's it feels a solid piece of kit you could do some damage with it if you wanted to along with that you've got the tabs themselves come in various different shapes and sizes and they've got different footprints on them for the glue to adhere to. After that, those, we've also got the, the actual tap down tools themselves. Uh, they've got different tips on them. We've got the, the glue sticks. You also get two, two scrapers with the kit. And one's got like a, a serrated edge on it. And one's got like a, a flat edge. And of course, that's, that's just removing the glue, isn't it? That's followed by a little spray pot. Now, I'm assuming that's for your isopropyl alcohol and your IPA which you'll spray on your bodywork after you've done your, your dent pull in just to remove the the residual glue that's left behind and I probably should have mentioned this earlier but along with the glue sticks of course what do you need you need yourselves a glue gun and that's it guys that's 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 everything in the kit you can see the panel flexing I suppose the question is, is it doing anything now? I'm beginning to wish I tried one of the smaller ones now. On the, see, on the videos you watch on YouTube, they just fly off these things, do. So I thought I'll be a bit overzealous with the glue and fingers crossed it'll stop on a bit longer. And of course, now I can't get it off at all. Feel it coming. There's still a ripple. But I don't think it's as pronounced as what it was. I don't think that's quite as bad as what it was. Let's get another glue tab on there. Let's clean it up and get another glue tab on there. So a new day dawns. <laughs> My camera ran out of battery last night and uh, while it was on charge I decided to uh, potter on with potter on with the van. Try and do a few more pulls just to see if I could pull some of the dents out. Now, <gasps> I know you're saying, don't be using white spirit for wiping your van down because you'll end up removing the paint. Have you seen the, the, the state of the paintwork on this? <laughs> I'm going to be rubbing it down and uh, having a blast at painting, uh, painting it myself anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. But let me just show you um, the two dents that I've been messing about with on this side of the van. I did about uh, two more two more pulls on them yesterday so in total I've had like three pulls on each dent now it is difficult to make out particularly with the, the, the state of the paintwork it's 
I know it's hard to see, but there was two, there were two little dents down this side of the van, and I thought they were the perfect ones to start with because obviously they were the smallest. But there's the first one there, the one that I put the massive tab on and overdid it with a glue. I think it is marginally better, but I think where where I've put the tab on because I had to I literally had to sort of pry it off the van. I think I've got a slight raised area there. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there's a slight little raised area there, and there's still a, a ripple in the top line, but I don't think it's as pronounced as what it was. Right, that's the second one there. That's definitely better. There's definitely a marks improvement there. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a damn sight better than what it was initially. I mean, you can still see there's a little, a little dink in it there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go with a few more pulls and try and pull it out. I was hoping that I'd be able to tackle that from the inside of the van and try and sort of whack it out, but it sort of, it sort of falls in a sort of structural area. There's like a strut that runs across it, so there's, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get at that. The plan's always been try this dent puller kit. Fingers crossed we'll have a bit of success with it and it'll lift out a few of the dents. I never expected it to remove them entirely. But the intention was always to, because we're going to paint it. I mean, look at it, look at the state of it. I can't do any worse than that, can I? So anyway, I wanted to try this cheap PDR kit from Amazon. And fingers crossed I'd have a little bit of joy with it. But the intention was always to rub it back and then if need be, fill it it does work but there are some things that are a, a stretch too far for it were a pull too far for it as it were but anyway i want to keep chipping away at this got me weapons of choice so let's wallop some glue on them and uh go to town now i absolutely plastered that last time right you see how much i put on there Give it a slight twist, and I'm hoping I won't have the same issue as last time. Plunk it on, give it a slight twist, a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a twist. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for about four minutes now just to cool down and harden. Something going on there. Oh, and there we go. So slacking it off. That's it, just nips over the head of the tab. Get the feet in a position that we want to be pulling against. Tighten it up. Wait for the people to pass by and then we'll have a tug. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one didn't last long. I'm finding this so many times that it just, it literally, you have two or three pulls and it just, it just pulls the paint off and it's not the original bodywork paint, it's stuff that's been added at a later date. But uh, we're getting there, we're making progress. if you can see there at the bottom edge one one shade of paint and above it a, a, a second completely different and another thing before anybody says oh the reason that the paint's coming off um, when you you pull at it it's because you're wiping it down with white spirits no <laughs> no I've put the tabs on before I've even touched it with white spirits and it's it's just it's just lifting the paint clear off and um, no doubt, you know, I'm sure the white spruits won't, won't help where I've wiped it down now and I've put the tab on. But I mean, it, it, it's alcohol, isn't it? So it's, it should just evaporate and there shouldn't be a film on the, like a, you know, a greasy film on the, the body work. It's starting to look like one of those climbers balls. I suppose ideally you just want to focus on one dent, but when you've got as many dents as what we're dealing with here, you might as well just go to town. T 
two different shades of paint on there. This van. <laughs> oh dear me. Paint again. You can see it's, it's trying to pull back into place, but it then springs back. I think that's made a bit of progress there. It's not as pronounced as what it was. The, the bodywork around it has it, it has moved, it has came out a bit. It is straighter, but it's nowhere near straight enough, I don't suppose. Final thoughts. I mean, really, for the money, you, you can't fault it. I mean, shy, just shy of thirty pound. I made the one dent on that side look so much better. Just like, just like, just fudging along, really, you know. But the other side, I think, I'm sure I've said more than once in this video. The kit's bit off a bit more than it can chew, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not just, it's not just a couple of little uh, dinks here and there. I mean, it's, it's one panel that's completely rippled. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Stay safe.